uh, you know, you came out in favor of gay marriage um, a couple years ago, but I haven't really heard you talk on the campaign trail about whether or not you've taken the next step, which is to prohibit discrimination in housing and and uh, employment in other areas. Yeah, I was a I was a leader on getting into done in the United States Senate. Okay. So that's you know, without my help, we wouldn't have had the Republican support to get to 60 votes. And that was historic. And Enda says you shouldn't discriminate against somebody because they're gay. And it has to do with jobs and opportunity, and uh, you know, that's, that's, that's where I am. So we'll continue to work on, on that agenda as well. I believe you ought to respect people for who they are, uh, and I'm proud of that. Thank you know, you let me, say, let me, let me just say one other Trump thing. Let me say one other on thing Monday? about, uh, I won't be. But uh, <laughs> let me just say one other thing. You know, economic growth is a given, and Rob gets it. And to get that done, you got to balance budgets. You got to can't have all this regulation choking, particularly small business. You got to have a tax system that encourages growth. Okay, that's a given. But the Republican Party cannot be stuck in the 1980s. And you think about the things that he's talking about: human trafficking, the scourge of drugs. He and I. He came to me and asked me if I would work with him on programs to try to save the rainforest, which we ended up getting past, the environment, connecting people together. If the Republican Party stays stuck in the 80s, you know, I'm not in the 80s. I live in the 21st century, and he is a senator that understands the things that needs to be done and the agendas that we need to have to move not only the party forward, but more important, the country forward. And uh, the question that you just asked him about discrimination against, uh, against the, the gay community is another issue where he has been in front of, uh, of other people. That's what the party needs. It can't be afraid to talk about the environment or civil rights or the issue of connecting people or deregulation to the point where we can have economic growth and a, a government that's more responsive to people. That's what he is about. He's a modern 21st century United States Senator, and that's why it's so important that he is able to be reelected. Thank Thanks, everyone. Thanks, appreciate it. One more question. Thank you. <laughs>